morning, everyone, and thank you for the introduction, Brenda. So as quick background, deoxynivalenol dawn is a mycotoxin produced by Fusarium species that commonly infect crops like wheat. Dawn is associated with a reduction in feed intake and productivity. It can also cause lesions in the mouth and gastrointestinal tract of poultry, and it can damage the villi in the small intestine, reducing overall surface area for nutrient absorption. In severe enough cases, it can cause immunosuppression. Because of this, CFIA is limited Dawn to five parts per million in finished diets and has proposed limits of 10 parts per million for single feed ingredients. Due to those potential limitations, any crops that are above 10 parts per million Dawn would be considered salvage and worthless economically. Due to those effects, we need it could, it, due to these effects, we need to find uses for that wheat. And one of them could be Tenebrio molitor, i.e. the yellow mealworm. It is a novel feed ingredient for the modern feed industry and can grow on high dawn feedstuffs with negligible impacts on growth, growth, mortality, and fertility. We have fed mealworms on up to 95 parts per million dawn while detecting less than 0 0.1 parts per million within their bodies. For our experiment, we sourced wheat that was less than one part per million dawn and approximately 30 parts per million dawn. We reared and harvested mealworms, which we then froze, dried, and then ground into mealworm meal. We analyzed the nutritional mycotoxin profiles of the mealworms meals. And then we had our poultry experiment where we raised 75, later reduced down to 60, raw 708 male, raw 708 broilers, which were fed one of three diets, a control diet, which was an industry standard diet, L LMD, which is a diet containing 5% mealworm meal reared on low dawn wheat, and HMD, which was a diet containing 5% mealworm meal that was produced on high dawn wheat. Some of, the, some of the parameters that we measured in the poultry included crude protein retention, dry matter digestibility, feed intake, body weight, meat yield, and organ weights. For crude protein retention, we saw an increase in crude protein retained in broilers fed diets containing mealworm meal. Overall, this is quite positive as we were primarily replacing porcelain meat and bone meal, which does have a high crude protein retention, indicating that mealworms are actually superior. We have, we saw an increase in dry matter digestibility in the, in the poultry fed HMD as well. With HMD, however, we did see a reduction in feed intake. And this may be indicative of a presence of a masked form of the mycotoxin DAWN. As current measures, as current methods of detecting DAWN can measure about four to five different variations of the molecule DAWN, but there's about 20 known variations of DAWN. However, the reduction in feed intake did not translate across into body weight and into meat yield. We also did not see a reduction in overall organ weights and organ sizes as well. So overall, we can, I concluded that yellow mealworms have a potential as a feed ingredient, however, if the use of yellow mealworms produced on dawn contaminated feedstuffs still needs to be further researched. More research is required related to how mealworms metabolize dawn. If they can handle multiple mycotoxins simultaneously as co-occurrence of mycotoxins is quite common and the safety of larvae produced on dawn, dawn and other mycotoxin contaminated products. 
I would quickly like to acknowledge my supervisors, Fiano Buchanan and Karen Trade Lerner and our funding agencies and everyone that helped out with my experiment. Thank you. Thank you, Dilshan. I think there's been a couple questions. Yes, um, a very interesting study. Are the worms actually metabolizing the dawn or do they just have a high tolerance for it? Did you look at dawn levels in the worm castings? And if Yes, we did actually. Okay. So, and it, go ahead, sorry. When we fed mealworms the 95 parts per million wheat, we found that in their, in their frass, which is basically their excreta, we, it contained about nine parts per million dawn. So it was about a 90% reduction from intake to excretion. Okay, because then the, the mm -hmm. third part was just, if it is just passing through them, then you would still have to deal with a toxic waste product. Okay. Thank you. Um, what weight of dawn wheat did the mealworms consume per weight of worms? So for my experiment, particularly, we did not actually measure that. However, with a previous experiment, it was about three and a half kilos per kilo of mealworm weight. Okay, um, that's all the questions I have for now, uh, Brenda.